Imagine if your job was your hobby. Well, that's the case for the founder, John, of JWA Tooling that's based in Leicester. Now, of course, you have to invest in kit. And his latest investment, he says, was a crucial yet missing piece of the jigsaw puzzle to make JWA Tooling the success that it is today. Congratulations, you've got some big birthdays and anniversaries to celebrate, well, haven't you? Thank you very much. <laughs> this is quite significant this week. It's 62 years since I started in uh, engineering. Next year, it's 40 years since we started the business. And next year, it's my 80th birthday. And I'm still here working. <laughs> you absolutely yes. are. But you founded this company, didn't you? It was founded this company in 1985, uh, working in my loft and uh, from then it moved on very quickly. We, bought, we, we took on a small unit, investing in some machinery. Uh, we got into CNC machinery quite early on. And what industries are you really looking into? We, we're into uh, tooling for the aerospace engine manufacturing uh, business, particularly EDM and electrochemical. We're also into uh, manufacturing uh, special products for the hydrogen fuel industry and also automotive, various automotive projects. We already have ISO 9000 accreditation, but we're going for 9100. We're working towards that. As we're a family business, we've got to look at continuity. And going forward, I'm fortunate to have my youngest son, who's taken the reins to run the business, and it's in very capable hands. So Jack, you're using this machine. What equipment was it that you had before and why have you gone for this? Well, machine? previously we had a Joe Mars, which was 25 years old. It was a manual EDM drill, so you had to hand cranks on the side and on the Z and everything. Uh, we changed to this simply, well, the old, it was, the maintenance was getting a bit too far yeah. on it. So we changed to a fully CNC'd EDM drill from the Eurospark and it's made my life a lot easier. <laughs> That's good to hear. Why, why Eurospark? Uh, well, we had a good look around at what was available on the market and this fulfilled all our needs extremely well. And what were those needs? Um, well, one unattended running, which means I can go and continue, continue working on the wire cutters mm. and my normal job, rather have to babysit the old machine. Mm. And it can run, it's much longer electro capacity, six, six, even 700 mil. 700? Yes. Is that quite unique? Uh, yes, yes, really, you know, a lot long electrode means more runtime, better for you, better for the machine. Yeah. And the third thing is that we've got an automatic tool and die changer, mm. so we can run up to 14 electrodes if you needed to do, say, thousands of the same size hole in a single plate. And again, you don't have to babysit. No, absolutely not. And stand in front of the no. machine. No. You've had it for 12 months now. Yes. Yeah. How have you found it? Well, it's been fantastic. It's made my life a lot easier day to day. Um, it, can, it can save programs in it and just re recall them. Um, it's, you know, we've set it up with an Eroa setup to make it compatible with all of our other machines for fixturing tooling oh, work. Okay. And it's made life very convenient. And here's one of the parts we made. We used it to drill all the start holes. Oh. And this ran for six, seven hours unattended. And what were you doing before then? How could you have done that? This would have taken me hours doing one really? hole at a time. I've probably done an entire row, wire cut, and then gone back to. Yeah. But this has saved me a lot of time. So is it the setup time that you're really ultimately trying to get back? Yeah, the setup, unattended running. Yeah. yeah. So it means I can run other machines, other jobs, get other setups going mm. in, whilst this is running. I, I hear you're quite clued up when yes. you're at the training. Yes. Tell me about this. Um, well, I've been, I've been here for seven years and we've had this uh, 12 months. So right. I was well up on using an EDM drill before I did, we'd even acquired this new machine. But did you learn a lot from your spot yes, when you were there? Yes, yeah, it's been really, you know, a tra good training course and going through it. And they came in when they installed it and they did another day training and there's future training available for the options that are available on this machine. So you're not actually pushing it to its limits? Oh, no, no. Not no, yet? Not yet, no. We will be at some point, yeah. It's got a tapping function, so if you'd forgotten to tap a hole in the tent part of a heat treat, mm. you could EDM the tapped hole in. Has it surprised you in any way? 
it, how simple it is to use and how many options there are for like programming. You know, it's, you know, it's got many options that tells you like what, how to select your electrode and the like. It just gives you options. You've got tool libraries in there for all the electrodes. You can set up to 14 tools. Oh wow! Yeah. Okay, and you know if you've got a 700, yes, now, that's gonna is that a, a benefit? What are the benefits of having that? Um, less wastage on the part. You know, if you were using two sh shorter electrodes, you don't with 100 mil of waste on each. Yes. You, instead of you've got 100 mil of waste on one type of electrode. So is consumables a big thing? Consumables you... is a big thing with these. Yeah, the longer electrode you can use, the better it is for consumable wise. Yeah. Is it integrated well into your machine shop then? Yeah, absolutely. It's integrated well with Simcoe, what we use for all our machines for the programming side. Yes. But it's also, we, we do a lot of programming at the machine because it's so quick and simple to use for one-offs, two-offs, that we can simply program at the machine. And if the pro job is looking to be repeated, we can save the program in the machine and call it back up. Brilliant. Um, Service-wise and consumables, do you go to Eurospark for yeah. it all? Yeah, we get all our electrodes and such from Eurospark. The service has been fantastic. We've had a few little teething issues from installation, but yeah. what machine doesn't? Yeah. Um, they've had, attempted to fix it over the phone, and if not, they've, we've ran them on the Friday, and they've been there first thing Monday morning, which you can't say better than that. So I'm guessing that has kind of paved the way for more machines. Yeah, it has. Um, this is, again, future, if you look into the future, there are add-ons for this, the fourth axis, fifth axis machines to add on to this, which are some very easy to plug and play. Jack, I'm getting the vibe that you're very excited about yes. this machine and yeah. using it. So overall, what would you say is the best kind of feature of the machine and why has it made your life so much easier? I, I think it's just it being a CNC EDM drill. It's being able to leave it unattended running while I can do other jobs and not having to babysit like I did the old machine has made my life a lot easier.